everyone, my name is Kina Hamill, and I'd like to welcome you to the Alumni College of Arts and Society. I'm a lecturer in the core curriculum and in the English department, and my seminar will be on um, the arts of war. So what we'll be doing is looking at expressions of war in art, literature, poetry, and some theater to try to understand why it's so difficult to represent war in um, other mediums. Specifically, we'll be focusing on three artists, three printmakers um, from different, very different time periods. Jacques Allot worked in the 17th century. He was um, responding to the Thirty Years' War. Francisco Goya was working in the 19th century, responding to Bonaparte's invasion of Spain. And we'll be looking at Otto Dix, who is responding to the German side of the Great War in the early 20th century. These artists each have something in common in that they are struggling almost anxiously to depict war in their prints. They do so by multiplying their printmaking and giving a series. Um, Jacolo has 17, Goya has 82, and Dix has 50 prints. So we really get a sense of them trying to struggle with the scale of war and show all the different angles and sides of um, what happens during war and during the aftermath of war. The other thing they have in common is that they were each personally um, connected to the wars in which they depict. Jacques Callot watched as his region of Lorraine was destroyed by war and was turned into a sort of desolated place, destroyed by famine and the aftermath. Goya watched as Madrid was affected by the invasion of Bonaparte and watched as 20,000 people were killed by famine. And Dix was right there on the front lines during the Great War. He was an artilleryman in 1915 and 1916. So they're each really very much um, connected to the war in some particular way. And the third thing that's very um, common about them is that their art changed because of it. Their styles changed. The way that they depicted um, war really made an impact on the way that they were as artists. So we'll be looking at them. We'll be taking a look at some poetry, um, and we'll be looking at a short story by Edith Wharton um, called Writing a War Story. So really what this seminar is looking at is, is just trying to struggle with the expressions of war, the representation of war, and how you can do that with the confines of literature, with the confines of a frame of art, with the confines of a small poem. And I hope you enjoy it.